Oh, sorry, I just booked. Hello, hi. I was debating whether to put my face on camera right now because um, I'm not looking cute. I'm not feeling cute either. I'm like, girly is really going through it at the moment. I had a nap earlier and I had a really bad dream. So that was fun too. Also, my dishwasher's on in the background, so I apologize if this sounds like a, there's a scary monster in the background. It's just a dishwasher. It's me on the vlog channel, feeling just so cute. Just really loving life at the moment. I'm very in my feels at the moment. And so I thought I would have a self care day. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I don't know if I'm doing a good job, but I'm going to try it. Got like cushions and blankets. Um, and I made myself some tea in Tata's mug, which is one of my favorite mugs. Oh, I also bought a new Christmas mug, which I need to show you guys. So I'll do that now as well. But um, I've got myself a nice mug. And I ooh, have bought new candles recently. This is the latest addition to the candles. It's a Christmas one, but it doesn't smell really Christmassy. Um, it's called Christmas Stories. That's the scent of this one. Um... I thought, I don't know why, I thought it, like, usually Christmas scented candles, to me, are like very, um, like gingerbread or cinnamon. That's the smell I associate with Christmas, but um, this smells nothing like that. This smells like plastic. This smells like plastic. I don't know, but maybe the Christmas stories are written in plastic books, who knows? But I got myself, I'll be honest with you, I mostly got this for aesthetic reasons because I thought the red looked really cute. Um, so that's the latest candles. I am very much a candle girly. So I am, um, and a fairy lights girly. I love me some mood lighting, hun. I'm very much a mood lighting girl and not a top light. We never bring out the top light unless absolutely necessary. And I cannot think of a reason that would be absolutely necessary to put out the big light on a cosy evening. Like, that's just not the vibe. It's just not the vibe. It's very clinical. So, um, got all my candles out. And I am attempting to do my next... I've only made it 50% of the way so far. And even this isn't 50% because I need to do, like, a top coat. Because apparently that's the thing you do. So, um, I am doing my nails. And I'm doing a shockingly bad job of them. So, these are my nails. I've done a shockingly bad job. They look like a child has done it. I do like the colour. I just don't like the application because I've not done a good job. But uh, like I've colored in outside the lines and everything. I never, as you guys know, I never do my nails. Like that's just not a thing that I do. I feel like me do my nails, it's like a cry for help. It's like a sign that something's not right. Like if I'm doing my nails, it's not looking good. Like something has happened to her. I feel like this is like my sign of a cry for help. A girlie's really going through it if she's doing her own nails. And yes, I am. But it's okay. It's okay. Like, I am fine. <laughs> like, I am fine. Like, I am fine. Like, mentally, I know I'm fine. Like, I'm not fine, but I am fine. I will be fine. Like, I haven't been fine. The past week has been rough. The past week... I've been really going through it and you can tell by my face. I think I'm like on the cusp of getting out of that I'm not fine. Like I'm able to joke about it a bit now. I wasn't able to joke about it a few days ago. How are you doing? I hope you're great. I hope you're better than me. If you're not, we can be not fine together. That's cool. But if you want your own space and need your own time, that's cool too, hun. Do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Um, I don't know what's best for me. I'm trying everything. Um, but, um, yeah. No, no, no. It does make me feel better. It does. It does make me feel better. I think sometimes you just need time by yourself to watch a Christmas movie, to put the fairy lights on, to do your nails, drink some tea and have a nap. And then have a bad dream and be back in your feels again. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need one of those days. And today is 
one of those days. We're doing great. Welcome back to the vlogs. I can't put this online. I have been wearing this cardigan nonstop since I bought it. I don't think it's even been a week, but I bought this from Uniqlo. I already have this cardigan in a gray. I don't know what this material is. It's so soft and it genuinely keeps me warm. And I feel like usually when I've had cardigans in the past, it was purely for aesthetic reasons because they did not keep me warm, which is probably why I didn't wear cardigans that much in the past. But the ones in Uniqlo, they hit different. Also my coat, that coat back there is from Uniqlo too. And oh my God, it keeps me warm. I feel like before again, I feel like none of the coats actually kept me warm. If you live in the UK, you will know how cold it gets and how cold it currently is in the UK. It is freezing. And I feel like Uniqlo is one of those stores. They actually have clothing that fits for this temperature. Like the other day I bought two heat tech thermals and they're so good that I actually got hot wearing them in the cold. It's insane. And another store that I went to today that I would also recommend is a store called Flying Tiger. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the store Flying Tiger. I think it's a store from Copenhagen. And I don't know if they do it all around the world and I don't know where you're watching this from. The first time I discovered this store, I completely fell in love with it. It's like one of those stores that you didn't know that you needed and then you discovered and was like, wow, where has this been my whole life? That's very high praise indeed, but that's also how I feel about it. They have items in there that you don't see in other places. It's like they've thought about their products and they've kind of come up with new products and solutions to things. It's just really cool. So I popped into Flying Tiger today because I wanted to get some like gift wrapping pieces. So I got myself some wrapping paper, some gift tags and ribbons and tape. And look how nice this tape is. My color palette for gift wrapping is usually brown and red and green. And I tend to gravitate to more like brown based gift wrapping. This one has hearts. I've also got other ones, which I might show you later when I'm actually gift wrapping. So yeah, I went into Flying Tiger to get some gift wrap, but then I got distracted by all the products because they have some really, really cool products there. The one thing I got is a jewelry box. And what I like about this is that it doesn't look like a jewelry box. Like I've noticed my aesthetic is very like simple, especially when it comes to my bedroom. I like things to be so basic and so simple. I didn't think I would be like that, but I've turned out like, like, look, this is my room right now. Like it's given empty. It's given I'm a lodger in my own home and I own nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. That seems to be my aesthetic. In the bedroom, I'm just like so basic. Not even basic, very minimal. And I don't like seeing lots of things. I think it's because my brain is so chaotic that I want my bedroom to just be like empty. Um, my living room is a bit different, but my bedroom is so empty. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm sold. Cause this is a jewelry box. That's not given much. <laughs> no, it's given a lot. Oh, it's given broken mirror right now. Also what I liked is when you open it, you have a mirror. And like, this is like a separate mirror you can use whenever you want. Hey, it's me and you, how cute. And I've noticed a big reason why I don't wear jewelry or I stick to like the same ones and I don't change them is because I don't see them. I'm very much a out of sight, out of mind person. So if I don't see in front of me, I'm not gonna use it. And as you can see, my bedroom is just empty. So I don't, I don't use a lot of things. This one I got from Amazon because a friend recommended it to me and it is hopefully going to be game changing. We shall see. It is, oh, you chart. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, it's electrical. It's an electric candle lighter. An electrical lighter, is it on now? Oh, I have to charge. Ooh, it is on. Looks like this and it bends on the end, which is kind of cool. So you gotta charge it, which, I mean, I do find it kind of, I feel like I have to charge everything in my life. Like my Hoover, it's one you have to charge and this is another thing I would charge. So I feel like I need to charge so many things all the time. But, um, but yeah, I got myself an electrical lighter based on my friend's recommendation. I was influenced, guys. We shall see how this goes. I'm very excited because this is candle season and I have bought a new candle and this is kind of weird that it moves so much, but um, I got myself an electric lighter. And now on to the final, which is the most fun stuff for me. I'm very into homeware, specifically kitchenware. And as you guys know, I am like obsessed with collecting mugs. I don't know where this obsession has come from, but I love me a good seasonal themed mug. And this is the latest 
to my collection. It should focus on the mug because that's the, ooh. It's giving candy cane, which I love. And the main reason I was excited about this is because before I even got this, I bought this dish from TK Maxx. I feel like they match. And that's purely coincidence and I blimmin' love that. I love this dish so much. I think it's so stinking cute. There was a lot of different Christmas decor dishes, but a lot of them were like a bowl and they'd have like a flat decoration on the bowl. But I was thinking once you put like the food on it, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's just gonna look like a plain bowl. You're not gonna be able to tell there's a Christmas one. But I like this one because it has the stuff on top. So even if I put like, also this part here is kind of cool. This is for putting toothpicks in. So I'm assuming it's like a snack party bowl where I can put things like olives and cheese. And I am hosting next week and so. So I thought maybe I can use this as a platter of like olives, cheese and crackers and stuff and put toothpicks in it. And that could be my party bowl. How cute. Let's make myself some tea, put the candles on using my new lighter stick and um, wrap some gifts. This is the latest addition to my candle collection. And this is a Yankee candle. I honestly think Yankee candles are like the best candles. They last so long and the scent is like, like you can really smell it. And this one is the gingerbread house one, which is giving very festive vibes. This is what I think of when I think of Christmas candles. Ooh, you can already smell it and I just opened the lid. I'm excited about this one. I think you just press and then, not really sure. Ooh, wow. That is so cool. Nice. I might put you here. Time to make myself some tea. I mean, I should be having chamomile tea because that like helps you with your sleep. And I'm pretty sure these have caffeine in it, so it's like really dumb to be having that right now. But I'm gonna be cheeky and I'm gonna get this one. This is my favorite kind of tea, the biscuit one. It actually does taste like tea and biscuits. So yeah, I'm gonna be making myself some multi biscuit brew tea. Look. Oh, I just looked in the fridge and every time I look in the fridge, I'm reminded of all the food I need to eat really quick which is why it's quite stressful looking at my fridge. I feel like when it comes to living alone and feeding yourself, like because basically they don't sell things in stores for one person living. So you end up either eating the same meals for the next few days because you just have to because that's how the portion sizes work. Or you end up like if you leave a couple of days because there's a lot of veg stuff in my fridge. I feel like I constantly, I'm just trying to finish everything up before it goes off. And whenever I go to a fridge, I'm reminded of like, oh, I need to eat that. I need to finish that. I need to finish that. So maybe tomorrow I will look at my fridge and come up with something to make. Um, oh, also now I don't use sugar anymore. I use honey. And I prefer it way more. It tastes so much better. I've been watching. Okay, I am so late to the game with this one. I know I am. And that's very on brand for me because I'm always late to every trend and new thing that's out. But um, I'm currently watching the show, The Beer. Insane. I love it so much. It has definitely become, which people might find weird because it's such an intense show, but it has become my comfort show. It has got me through this past week. I find that I don't really watch shows that much, right? But when I'm going through it, suddenly I'm really into watching shows. I think there's a correlation there, but there we go. So yeah, my show right now is The Bear and I blimmin' love it. Really, it sounds so lame that I'm even saying this, but because I love the show so much, I'm like really savoring each episode and I'm trying to take my time with it because I've gotten so invested in the characters. Like the characters are just so beautifully written and they just feel so real that I'm scared that when the show's over, it's gonna feel like a loss. I'm gonna grieve the show because these characters aren't gonna like exist anymore until the new season. I'm, I'm sure there will be a new season. It's like so popular. But um, so yeah, I'm on like episode, I'm on season two, episode six right now. So like I'm really coming towards the end and I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready to come to the end of the show. And it's one of those shows that you can't background watch because usually with the TV, I have a lot of things that I like background watch. This is not that kind of show. You gotta like sit and watch this thing. If you have any other shows you wanna recommend me, please do. Because I feel like I need, I mean, it's not healthy. My therapist would say I need to feel my feelings, which like, listen, hun, I'm all about, actually I'm not all about feeling my feelings, which is why I'm in therapy, but we move. Um, I know I should be feeling my feelings right now. And instead I am distracting myself with tasks and watching shows and vlogging, which is probably not healthy, but, 
if you do have any uh, shows that you can recommend me so that I can distract myself from feeling my feelings, let me know in the comment section below. Should we wrap some gifts and put the telly on? All right, that sounds lovely. Oh, my avocado's gonna go off too. I need to eat that. God dang it. Every time I look in that fridge, just stress. So this is a show I'm talking about, The Bear. I'm on season two, episode six. So I've only got a few episodes left and then it's done, which is quite sad. And this guy, Jeremy White, I can't remember his full name right now, is incredible, incredible actor. I mean, everyone knows this. He's been winning so many awards for this show and stuff, but like this show, the acting in the show, and the writing is insane. Also, my camera's doing this weird glitchy thing. But yeah, basically, if you haven't watched already, definitely watch a show. It's so good. And I'm really sad that I'm nearly done with it. For now, though, I think I'm just going to put something on the background because I'm going to be gift wrapping. And I feel like I want to watch something. Like, I want something as a background watch. Something, like, animated. I'm very much an animated girly. Sean the Sheep. Okay. Oh, that's cute. So I've got my... um animated TV in the background. Also, I wanna show you, I can show you these gifts because I'm hopefully, by the time this video comes out, I would have already given it to them. So it's not gonna like break the surprise. I love gift giving. It just makes me so happy. I am such a gift giving girly. It's definitely, gift giving is definitely my number one love language. This time of the year when I get to do that for all the people I love in my life, it just makes me very happy. For my one friend I got, so he's really into games. He's really into games, like board games. And like he, in his own words, has described himself as a hardcore nerd. Now I'm not a hardcore nerd when it comes to board games, but I thought this might still be cute. So I picked up this, it's called Escape Room, Kyoto version. There's 10 puzzles, they take 60 minutes, and you basically have to escape in time, which I really like escape rooms. So this felt like a really cool concept like I did like this and it's only 60 minutes and there's 10 games it just felt like a cute little thing to get I've got him a notebook because he uses a lot of notebooks for his job um and this is like a good quality notebook so I've got him that I think what I also like about gift giving is that it makes you think about people a lot more than you normally do and it makes you think about what makes them them and you start appreciating them for them and all their amazing qualities and when you're thinking about getting gifts, you just wanna like embrace those qualities, right? And one thing I love about this friend is the way they dress. They are such a fun dresser. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe other than that. Basically, they're really into fashion and they really like bright colors. And so like every time I see her, I just get happy because of the way she dressed like instantly. Like she, you could see her personality through her clothes. And I think that's such a nice quality to have in a person. Cause I feel like usually most people do stick to like more neutral colors and we play it safe and wear a lot of black. So when you see someone who consistently wears bright colors, it just makes you happy when you see that. Like when I see this, it just makes me happy because they're so bright in their appearance. So I really want to encourage that. So I saw this and I instantly was like, I have to get this. This is, this just screams her. So I got this like really beautiful cardigan from Monkey. And it feels, I'm really going through a cardigan vibe. I'm really liking cardigans. And I think this is meant to be like an oversized fit, but it just feels, it just feels like a warm, bright, colorful hug, you know? And it just felt like the perfect gift to give her. It feels like I'm giving a literal hug to someone. So I saw this and instantly was like, I need to get it. It's so nice. So that is their present. I really like anything that's like remotely artsy or crafty. Um, I don't know why it brings me so much joy. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to wrap more presents because it makes me really happy. I want to say a massive thank you um, for just watching this video and for just, uh, sounds really weird, but this is how I honestly feel, like just being here. I think it's quite telling that when I'm feeling the way I am, the fact that I've naturally gravitated to vlogging shows how much of a comfort this is to me, especially this channel in particular. It's such a comfort and safe space for me. And the only reason I have this safe space is because of you guys. And I've always felt like that with YouTube. I've always felt like YouTube was my outlet and my 
place I can go to to be creative and share stories and have a voice and connect with people. It's always been a very safe space, comfort, happy place for me. And so many years later, that still very much rings true. And I'm still very much feeling that way instinctually. So yeah, thank you so much for giving me that gift. So I'm just feeling very grateful for that and you guys right now. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and safe. And this year has been kind to you. And if it hasn't, then I am sending you all my love. Thank you so much for watching this video. We shall see how I feel, but I think I will continue vlogging more. So hopefully you'll see more videos from me. I will also leave donation links if you would like to support the people in Gaza. I will leave all the links in the description box below. Definitely check that out. I love you lots. Please know they matter. And I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.